To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to zoom into. There's two ways to zoom in ShotCut, immediately with a jump cut or smoothly with an animation. To do a zoom with a jump cut, begin by using the split tool to cut out the part of the video you'd like to zoom into. Make sure your time marker is over the middle of the clip you cut out so you'll be able to see the zoom when you add it. Then select your cutout video and go up here to Filters. Click the plus button and search for Scale. Select the Rotate and Scale effect to add it to your clip. Now just drag the scale slider to zoom into your clip. Use the X offset and Y offset sliders to reposition your video in the zoomed frame. You can also select the scale and offset values and type them in manually for more precise zooms. Okay, and now when I play this back, my video zooms in during my cutout clip's playback. This works good, but I'm going to undo this to show you how to zoom over time with animation. Alright, start by positioning your time marker on the timeline to where you want to start zooming. Make sure your clip is selected on the timeline and go up to Filters. Click the plus button and search for Scale. Select the Rotate and Scale option to add it to your clip. Now click the stopwatch next to Scale, X Offset, and Y Offset to create a starting keyframe for all three properties. And I recommend dragging just above where it says Keyframes on the timeline to expand it to see all your keyframes. Next, move your time marker to where you want your clip to be zoomed in by on your timeline. Then drag the scale slider to increase the scale of your video. Drag the X offset and Y offset values to reposition your zoomed in video. Okay, and now when I play this back, I have a nice looking animated zoom in. To speed up your zoom, just drag each one of your second keyframes closer to the first ones. And to slow down your zoom, you just drag them further apart. Now to zoom out with animation, position the time marker to where you want to start zooming back out. Since we want the video to stay zoomed in until this point, we need to create keyframes for the current scale and offset values at this position on the timeline. To do this, select the scales value and press the up arrow key on your keyboard once to move the scale up ever so slightly. Then press the down arrow key once to move the scale back to its original zoomed in value. This little hack lets you create keyframes for the current scale. Now do the same thing for the X offset and Y offset to create keyframes for the current values. Next, move the time marker to where you want your clip to be zoomed out by. Click the reset button next to the scale and each offset value to create keyframes for their original zoomed out values. Okay, now when I play this back, I have a nice looking animated zoom in and then zoom out effect in shot film. If you wanted to zoom out suddenly without animation, you wouldn't need these last two sets of keyframes for zooming out. Instead, you just position the time marker to where you want to zoom out. Then click the Timeline tab up here. And now just use a split tool at the time marker's position. Now when I play this back, I have a smooth zoom in and at the cut, it just zooms back out immediately. One last thing you might want to do is smooth out your zoom animation. To do this, make sure your clip with your keyframes is selected and go back to the Keyframes tab. Right click each keyframe, hover over Keyframe Type, and select Smooth. Alright, that looks smoother now, but I'd like my zoom to go a little faster, so I'm just going to drag my keyframes closer together. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.